YouTube and the YouTube pipe smoking community that is y'all housekeeping I have the uh, bones pipe and in it I have some esoterica Margate what wouldn't fit in there here is the subject of today's video and um, I'm probably going to offend some of you guys, some of y'all. Sorry, ladies, I uh, didn't mean to exclude you, but I'm going to, probably what I'm going to say is going to offend some of you. Um, as some of you know that, uh, Esoterica had another drop here lately, and I was fortunate enough to get my hands on a bag of Margate. Uh, this is what wouldn't fit into this jar of Pembroke and this is what wouldn't fit into that jar of Dunbar let me see if I can't focus this just a little bit Come on down 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 that better that's better anyway you're right there my uh, monitors right there so I kind of look back and forth uh, I saw a post on Instagram the other day where somebody um, thought they were going to age their esoterica in the um, in the bag and when they went to open it um, they had nothing but a brick of mold uh, it wasn't plume or anything, it was 100% mold. And there were a couple of comments on there from a few others that uh, they made the same mistake and wound up with mold. Um, as you guys know, that this stuff, Esoterica, um, doesn't come around very often. And for the money that we spend on it, um, I don't want that to turn into mold so I got the idea that I just throw it into jars and I would jar it and I'd look at it from time to time well what wouldn't fit into the jars I put into the uh, smaller jars so I can have samples from time to time I bought these three blends I bought a tin of uh, I forgot what the tin was but I've got some tins in stock now from what I've bought and what I've won in contest and from watching everybody's videos uh, you know the esoteric is the best that you can buy it's the best of the best and so I was going to wait until a special occasion of some sort uh, I didn't know what that occasion was but I was gonna wait to a special occasion to open up my first tin of one of the esoterica blends well when I saw the uh, um, post on Instagram about the mold and saw pictures of the mold in the bag um, I went ahead and opened my bags up like I said and I put them into jars well since I already had it open I might as well fire up a bowl and so my first bowl was in my 2017 Corn Cob Nation. You got it's right there. Corn Cob Nation Pipe of the Year. Love that pipe. And in it, I tried Dunbar. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting. But it did not meet my expectations. Um, it didn't. It, it uh, basically a tasteless tobacco. So this morning I got out a my um, bones bulldog, and I tried. Uh, what I tried next, I tried uh, Pembroke. 
No, I take that back. I didn't either. My second bowl was of uh, Margate, which is no, I take no, I was right the first time. Uh, my second bowl was Pembroke, uh, in English with cognac, finest English cognac blend. Um, again, highly disappointed. Um, no flavor really to it whatsoever. That says it says it's got Latakia in there. I can smell some Latakia, but uh, you know. I wasn't, I wasn't impressed. Then, uh, like I said, I'm just starting to finish up this bowl of uh, Margate. And this is the best full English tobacco. If that would focus, it says it right there. Best full English tobacco. If I had tried this as uh, my very first time into uh, English tobaccos and something had marketed itself as the best full English tobacco, I would not be smoking Englishes today. There's nothing in here. No flavor at all. Um, you know, and I hear about people, you know, they talk about the other blends. Well, I might as well get out my tins. Um, I've got a Pembroke. I've got another tin of Pembroke. Make that three. I have one, two, bought one. And so to bed. I haven't tried him yet. Um, I've got a couple of tins of Margate and uh, Dorchester. Um... Back to the previous thought a minute ago, you know, I hear people uh, talking about other bins and blends and not really bashing them, but, uh, you know, not talking good about them. Um, this wasn't a tin I was wanting to grab. Yeah, uh, GOP's Quiet Nights. Tell you what, the first time I tried this, I was hooked. It's awesome, excellent stuff. I loved it. You could tell it had Latakia. Latakia in it. It was, I mean, in your face, Latakia, but I like. Heard some reviews about this uh, Sunset Harbor. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really care that it's like a broken flake. Well, I mean, I've never had what came out uh, um, years ago. This, I mean, I just bought this a couple of weeks ago. It smells amazing. It, uh, I believe it's a uh, from the website or from TobaccoReviews.com, or somebody says there's a uh, Balkan. Um, I tried this. Absolutely love it. Um, I've got uh, three other cans over there. I'm probably going to buy more. Love it, love it, love it. Straight out of the can. So that's why whenever I open this stuff up, you know, the Pembroke, Dunbar, Margate, open it up and give it a try. And was... It was a letdown. I tell you, it was a letdown. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting something about like these. Um, but to get something that has no flavor to it whatsoever. Um, I don't know whether they need to age. I don't know what. I don't know if it's the new blend that came out this year with this batch. Um, now, I'll, I'll give it to you, the tobacco itself has a different feel to it than the other blends or uh, tobaccos that I've got. But I don't care how tobacco feels. Um, really don't care how it looks. I don't care if it's supposed to be a flake and it's broken. I don't care. I want, it, I want flavor. Um, this stuff here has no flavor. 
so I think with these tins I'm gonna let them age a few more years with the big jars I'm gonna put those in the back of the cellar and uh, forget about them for a while uh, with these smaller ones I might uh, break them open and uh, give it a try every uh, six months or so see if it's improved any um, but yeah, um, I don't know if it's this new drop or what, but, uh, you know, like I said, the first time I ever lit up a bowl was yesterday of, uh, the, the uh, Esoterica blends, you know, blend number one, my very first try to Esoterica at Dunbar. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not bad, but it's not what I expected. Um, to me, it's not worth the hype. I don't know. I'll stick with my uh, GLPs and I'll stick with my Cornelia deals. I'll stick with uh, I'll stick with my uh, Peter Stockabies. Um, I'll stick with my Lanes, and uh, I'll, I think I'll just save my money from now on. I really do. Um, so there you have it. It's my two cents worth. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> hey. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Um, since it's been a while since the last video, uh, we've been putting in 12 to 14 hours a day for the last, well, since uh, January, 1st of January. And uh, I just happened to be off today, so I uh, thought I'd have some sit down tobacco time. And yeah, this was a disappointment. But uh, hey, <laughs> talking to you guys is never a disappointment. I will see y'all later and hopefully have another video up uh, tomorrow, maybe the next day. And I promise, promise, promise the meaning behind the Corn Cob Snob Society video. I recorded it a couple of weeks ago and a there was a bunch of other junk on the video that um, whenever I edited everything out, it wasn't worth publishing. So. I promise that within this week I will get a video on the uh, meaning behind the Corn Cob Snob Society. I will get that up. But uh, otherwise, hey, you all have a good day. Bye. Where'd my mouse go? There it is.